Yo, what is up guys, Trickster G here, and in today's video, we have the first weapon guide up in the channel, and in today's video, we are going to be going over assault rifles, but in this video specifically, we are going to be showing you guys the XM4, and we going to be giving you how to get the challenges done the fastest and easiest way possible. But before we do get into this, if you guys are new, make sure you guys do hit the sub button for more gameplays, class setups, and camo videos up on the channel. If you guys do enjoy today's video or this does help you out, let me know in the comment section down below and drop a like on today's video. Anyways, we're going to get right into the first camo. So the first camo is spray. What you have to do is simply just get 300 eliminations with the weapon. The first one, obviously, shards 25. Ambush, 50 eliminations. Frozen Lake, 100 eliminations. Debris, 200. And Prosper, 300. So in order to get them 300 eliminations, aka kills, as fast as possible, you guys are going to want to play 12v12, guys. The reason I am saying this is just because, obviously, in 12v12, there's more players on the map. The more players on the map, the more kills you get per game. And you guys aren't really going to want to run kill streaks when doing this because obviously you're going to want as many kills per game with this gun and just this gun in general. No war, war machine, no kill streaks, nothing like that. If you guys want to get it done as fast as possible, you guys are just going to want to run this weapon and use no kill streaks, just run like UAV encounter. It would allow you to get the kills faster. On to stripes, guys. So what you have to do is to get 100 headshots. The first camo is 10 headshots called gravel, 25 called graze, 50 called frost. Thrash, which looks pretty cool, 75 headshots, and Bangle, which is the 100 headshots. So for the headshots, guys, you guys are going to want to play Hardcore, definitely. I recommend Hardcore Domination, that's what I played personally. What you guys are going to want to do is sit near an objective such as B-Flag that you know the enemies are going to be pushing really, really hard throughout the whole game, and just aim as high as you can, and it's one shot to the head. Aim for the head, and you'll be able to get them headshots done pretty fast. Took me about, I'd say probably about an hour, 45 minutes to get the 100 headshots when playing Hardcore Domination. Hardcore really does make the hard headshots so much easier. Down to the Bloodthirsties, which basically Bloodthirsties, guys. Get 5 kills without dying 3 times. Get 5 kills without dying 5 times. Get 5 kills without dying 10 times. 15 times and 20 times. So, obviously for this, guys, you guys are going to want to play. I played 6v6 core because I am a core player. But if you're a hardcore player, you can do hardcore. But for core players, you guys are going to want to play 6v6. And you're going to want to play bigger maps, guys. Such as Miami. That, that map of my envy guys this is a, that is an easy nuclear map and an easy camo map you can get your long shots done in there and you can easily get your get five kills without dying done relatively fast just because it is so easy to get those five kills because it's a bigger map you can play slower and you can get them five kill streaks done relatively fast it took me i'd probably say it took me about four or five games maybe 10 max definitely miami though is a good map for that and you're gonna play 6v6 like i said but uh, get 50 long shots, you guys want to go in bigger maps, such as Satellite is definitely a good map. Set up by where B-Flag is and just look down at their spawn. You can probably get about 15 to 20 long shots a game if you do play Hardcore. You can play Hardcore for long shots, but obviously Hardcore is going to make it way easier. Just because if you know, you see the enemy, you shoot him once, you know you do get that kill. But obviously, you can play Core for this, but it's just going to be harder because you're not guaranteed the kill. They could easily just duck behind a head glitch or run off somewhere or heal. So hardcore, I would definitely recommend hardcore for the long shots and play maps such as Miami, Satellite, and Armada. You can sit in the, one of the windows or mid and look in their window and get long shots like that. But on to the next camo, guys. We have the Flora camos, which is Cherry Blossom. You have to kill 75 enemies detected, stunned, or blinded by your score streaks, equipment, or field upgrades in multiplayer. So obviously, you can run double stun. I do recommend that. So throw on the wild card where you can get the two... Uh, tacticals so you're going to want double stuns you're going to stun them twice and then kill them or if you want you could uh try to stay near an objective this is what i did in a map like satellite when there's two or three people on the flag throw a stun run up to the flag and easily pick up them a couple kills while they're stunned you'll get it done pretty fast i don't really recommend hardcore because you can get one shot at obviously when the person's still stunned and on to the next challenge is guys the shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer so when doing this what I did was play 12v12, I would look for the boat map Armada, because there was plenty of head glitches in both of the spawns, and they do spawn on a whole different boat, and there's lots of snipers in this map, so I do recommend running a thermoscope when doing this. That may sound weird, a thermoscope, but you'll be able to see plenty of people ducking up and down in the, on their spawn boat, and you can easily pick them off them head glitches when running a thermal, but Armada is definitely the best map in the game to get the shoot and kill 50 enemies while taking cover from you in multiplayer. You can do that in 12v12 or if you want to, the slower way you could do this is play hardcore dom. But it's just faster if you do do the 12v12 and run a thermal on the map armada. But obviously hardcore it's going to take longer because certain maps are harder to get these done. On to the psychedelics guys, kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. 
is the final to complete this camo category. So what you guys are going to want to do is play smaller maps, guys, such as Cartel. Cartel is the big, the, the biggest map that I played because you simply really want a small map. Cartel is a small map in general, but that's the biggest map I would play when trying to get this done. Just because it's so close quarters once you get in a spawn or even just sit in one of the bunkers in a spawn. And you can pick up them two or more enemies rapidly, get them kills done, and you'll get this camo done extremely fast, guys. Small maps like Cartel are key when going for the kill two or more enemies. And then once you do complete that, guys, you do unlock gold camo, which is unlock all 35 multiplayer camos for that weapon. And you do the, all these, take all these tips and use it on every one of your assault rifles, and you will get gold camo done extremely fast in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. 